key lot, the G740 FC handover. Uh, just look underneath the pond first of all. Uh, this is for topping up your windscreen wipers. That's your radiator level and your brake fluid level. And behind here is your dipstick. We're checking your dipstick. And this here is your jump start point. If you ever need to jump start the vehicle, that's your positive and just take a negative off somewhere else in the vehicle. You open the bonnet. The bonnet pull is here. Allows you to open it. This is a diesel tank here. So you just gotta put the key in. The key stays in it. And it comes out like that and stays in it. And then relocks back in again. Like that. You have a side locker here, you can pull out. This will take up to 70 kilos, designed for all your wet gear, like wheel shocks and cables and stuff. Locks back in like that, push the lock in, push the lock in again. This is your boiler or battery compartment in here, and also your electric, so you have a laser battery up above here, and your electrical system down below here, so just a normal trips that you would have in a house here and then various fuses here and it'll tell you what the fuses are for. Okay, hopefully you'll not need to be in there. Uh, your mains plug-in lead is here and it comes up to the flap on the floor here. So you draw it up through here and plug it in up there. This is your fresh water refill. This is for filling up the fresh water. off. Rear garage compartment. If you have some tie downs here you can tie stuff down to. You have, uh, if you've got an additional laser battery it'll be fitted in there. And if you uh, have an inverter you will easily fit it in there as well. Uh, this particular one's got a spare toilet cassette. Carpets are in the rear there as well for you. You have a heating outlet there which you can turn on and off uh, from in here to heat the garage as well if you want the garage a heated space. Around the back, you are reversing the camera up above there. Again, locker door from this side. This is your toilet cassette, so you'll get notification inside that the vet for toilet is full and tell you a little light will come on. And whenever you want to update, you make sure that the compartment inside the toilet is completely empty and when you've checked that come outside that'll handle underneath here pull it out draw the cassette out you set it on the ground and then you can pull this item around here at the end unscrew the end off and then hold it here and hold it here as well and this little button if you push this button in here it's an air valve and that will allow any of the contents to flow out rather than glugging out. If you want to um, open the cassette for cleaning, you can just slide that compartment there and I'll say open it up like that. Give it a good clean out inside. And once you've done that uh, and it's ready to go again, a couple of glugs of the toilet chemical, half a pint of water and give it a good slosh around. Close it all up again and then place it back into the compartment again. Slide it back in until it clunks in. And put the bar back in and that's you ready to go again. Okay. This one has a gas barbecue point on. So the gas barbecue point's there. You attach your own uh, rubber pipe onto the end here. And to get the gas to flow through, push that in and turn the valve around to release the gas and then the gas will flow. So whenever that's pushed in and turned around, the gas will flow. Okay, so this, this stays attached to your gas barbecue all the time. As you go further forward, put the gas locker at the front here. This particular van's got a refillable system in it. Uh, so whenever you want to turn the gas on, turn the valve on, off again, 
do one at a time, don't have both of them running at the same time. You have a treatment, what do you call it, a uh, regulator in this one here. Um, and again, this one here is a refillable system. So if you have a refillable system, this is your fill point here. So this little cover just comes off. And you screw the gas refillable system at the LPG station into this here to be able to uh, refill the bottles up again. Okay. Always have your gas turned off when you're driving. It's always advisable to do that. Uh, this one here has a crash sensor on it. Does allow you to run the gas if you want to when you're driving, but uh, always encourage people not to have their gas on when they're driving. But you've got tells you how to do the reset. To push this little yellow button in here for five seconds, and that'll do the reset for you. Okay. Thing we need to look at down here is your waste tank pull. So this here is how you empty your waste tank. You pull the lever this way here uh, to empty it out. It will empty out from the center of the van from the waste tank which is underneath the van there, the black item. So it's the center of that. And um, whenever you're finished again, if you're driving or anything like that there or you're on site, always have it closed. If you have the vehicle parked up for a long period of time, I always encourage people to leave it open slightly so it lets the tank breathe and then you don't end up with any bad smells or anything. That concludes the outside of the van. Thank you very much.